Jason, just kind of the satisfaction of, of being able to make a play like you did Saturday night and, and just kind of your journey to, to get to that. Coach said you're a consistent guy. Just kind of how how's the last few years been for you? Oh, yeah. No, nah, it's definitely, you know, just been like a culmination of just all the hard work I put in over the offseason, just seeing that coming, you know, fruition, you know, during the game. An important game against Oklahoma, you know, uh, you know, seeing that show up, you know, it was very, a very good moment, and you know, just to you know celebrate that with my brothers was even better for me. So, Austin and then Adam, were you able to have any family at the game Saturday night? And if not, how how quickly were you getting phones, calls, and texts from back in New Jersey? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Now my my family didn't make it out to, all the way to the Midwest, but you know my mom immediately after the uh, game, uh, you know, she gave me a call, and she they were all on the phone. All my family was watching from New Jersey, and they was all proud of me and everything, and. You know, just, uh, you know, they made a lot of sacrifices, uh, you know, for me to get to where I am today. So, you know, just hearing them, just the joy in their voices of, of you know, just, you know, my performance and everything, you know, that was, it was very, very, you know, just, uh, you know, felt very accomplishing to me, so. To play uh, limited snaps, but then to have the, maybe the biggest play of the game with the safety. Like, what when you get to the sideline, what was the reaction from the guys, from Coach Garner? What was the reaction in the film room from the guys when you rewatched it? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, sideline, you know, always pumped. You know, uh, just the, the brotherhood that we have here, you know, everybody's happy to see everybody, you know, shine. And, uh, you know, <coughs> Coach G, you know, he, he said it was, a, it was a good play. And then uh, just watching the film yesterday, you know, he, uh, you know, we looked every, at everything and he, you know, again, said it was a good play and everything. So, um, you know, just uh, celebrating with everybody and just, you know, just coming in the film room and watching it back, you know, it was, it was, a, uh, it was very good for those, uh, from the game to the film. I want to go a couple steps before that. Walk us through when the safety happened, when you realized the ball was loose, and then obviously going there, grabbing it, and getting the safety. Oh, yeah. So uh, I realized, I, I saw that the right guard, he was looking directly at me in the, in the uh, whole week in film. We was uh, seeing our keys and everything that the line, they was really looking to where they was going. And uh, I happened that play to be slanting away from uh, where he was, you know, zoning out to. So uh, seeing that hole wide open, you know, my eyes lit up like Christmas, and you know, I just knew I had to go in and make a play. So, you guys in the defensive line, there's so many bodies. Everybody talks about the numbers, but what's the personality of that room? If if you were describing to your family back home or to some friends, like, what's the personality of the defensive line room? What's it like? I mean, it's. I feel like it's so many different, you know, elements of the D line room that you get from different people that just make it just such one word I could say is just, you know, very unique in, in terms of, you know, the uh, different things that people bring to the room in terms of like leadership, in terms of just, you know, just, you know, uh, you know, hard work and, and just all these different type of elements. Like it's just a culmination of just a lot of different, you know, things coming from different people. And, um, you know, we all pour into each other and, you know, we all try and just make each other better every day. What's that oh, back here? What's it out about Elijah Simmons so far this year and his ability on the defensive line? Oh yeah, Elijah. I mean, he's he's a beast, man. And, you know, just seeing him just knock people back and just play violent, just the way he does, man. Um, you know, it's 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 truly a sight to see. And uh, you know, Elijah, we just starting off the year, but you know, he has so much more, um, you know, left in the tank, and he's gonna really show it on uh, Saturdays. Heupel said that Elijah kind of set the tone with that first play of the game. Was that something you could feel from the sideline after that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, just coming off uh, first play of the game, TFL, I mean, just momentum is everything in this game. And just, you know, having that momentum on defense, I feel like, you know, really carried over, you know, uh, as the drives went on throughout the game and people were able to make, uh, you know, plays of their own. So, you know, I feel like that was definitely a great uh, tone center to start off. With the rotation and everything it is, how hard is it to stay ready on the sideline? Have you guys talked a lot about how you stay engaged because you don't know when the rotation's going to happen or how many snaps you may or may not get? What's the challenge to stay ready at any moment's notice? I mean, really, it's just you know, just just waiting for your opportunity and, it, and really when you're on the when you're on the sideline, waiting on your opportunity, just taking those mental reps and just you know, just observing what the uh, opposing team is doing and how. Uh, you would play that, you know, in certain situations and just, you know, just totally just being dialed in. So I feel like that's how we, we all pretty much stay ready. 
Jason Coach Heibel was in earlier and he talked about how much you invest every single day and how for you know a lot of players that do that, sometimes the payoff doesn't come immediately. Uh, as you sort of built up towards this, how, how did you kind of keep your you know, frustrations from getting the best of you and, and maybe hindering you in any way? And, and who did you kind of lean on and, and how did you have the mentality to kind of keep going and, and now to get the payoff like you are now? Right. So, I mean, it really is just, you know, just waiting. Just waiting on your opportunity to arrive and just, you know, being there. That's what Coach Hype talks about all the time, just waiting on your opportunity to arrive. And, um, you know, when you're not, you know, uh, or at least what I, what you said would lean on, uh, really I mean, leaning on, you know, like the last two years, just my faith, my family, and just my brothers um, around me, uh, just, you know, just totally just believing that, you know, my time will come. And when my time comes, I'm going to execute. So that's pretty much my mindset. Appreciate y'all.